What's up YouTube? It's Tate and Kelly here back with another video and today we're going to be flying the new Mavic Air inside the house so stay tuned to see how that goes. So number one, you're going to want to make sure to change a few settings in the um, in the app. Do you know what those are, Tate? Uh, one, you're going to cut return to home. That's no good. We don't okay. want that. So let's do that real quick. And why do you cut return to home? Because when the Mavic Air and pretty much any other DJI drone returns to home, um, it flies up 60 feet into the air to avoid any trees or anything that it would encounter in the wild. But... We do not have 60 foot ceilings, Dai. Nope. So, if it flew up 60 feet, it would probably just crash and land somewhere in our living room. And we don't want that. So basically, we just go into the, uh, into the advanced settings under the aircraft, and instead of return to home, we're just going to say hover. If it gets in trouble, just hover. Just, just. Where, just wherever just. you are. Uh, and then we'll sort, sort it out from there. That's better than it uh, trying to go up high. Actually, you could tell it to land as well if it loses signal. So basically, this is if it loses the signal. So yeah, I'm gonna tell it to actually just land. So if it gets, if it loses signal, just land wherever it is. Now I wanna change this back if we're out flying because uh, that could be trouble if it was, you know, a kilometer or half a mile away. But uh, as far as in the house, landing if it loses signal is a good idea. The next thing um, we're gonna wanna do is go into our flight modes here and put it in tripod mode. Now tripod mode makes it very slow and smooth and steady. And so if you're gonna fly indoors and you wanna get some cool shots, um, whether it's in a house or in a big warehouse or in your place of work or whatever, of course be sure to follow the rules and don't fly directly over people and be safe. And probably a good idea to have the prop guards on, but tripod mode is gonna give you really smooth shots. Yeah. So with those two things set, um, we do have a pass turned on right now. One other thing we could do is we could turn off the obstacle avoidance because it's going to do a lot of beeping. Um, I'm going to leave the obstacle avoidance on for the time being just to start off and then if we feel brave later we'll turn it off. But um, do know that obstacle avoidance is going to limit how well you can fly indoors because if you want to go through a narrow doorway it might not go through it because it thinks that's an obstacle and doesn't see the clear path. I'm not going to do that. All right, so all of that said, uh, we do have a brand new DJI Osmo Plus, Woo! and we're gonna use that to film this guy. So uh, let's get it in the air and see what happens. Oh, they're spinning up. Okay, so 
Now, one thing we can do, Tate, what were you having trouble with? What? What were you having trouble with? I was doing purpose. No, 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 I mean, I mean, it wouldn't go forward because of why. Oh, the obstacle avoidance. So, usually I have nothing bad to say about the obstacle avoidance. It's great. It makes sure you don't waste thousands of dollars and crash your magnetic air into trees. But, when you're flying in a kitchen, it's not very helpful because it's going to come here. I can't fit in there, but let's be real. So how do we turn the obstacle avoidance so, off? We're gonna come here on our little screen pad pad screen thing. And we're gonna go here. Go to the settings. And obstacle oh. yeah. Enable obstacle awards. So you go here to the settings, click on that little um whatchamacallit, and then you just flip that off. Okay. And obstacle avoidance is disabled. So, so y'all, it's about to get very, very real. Okay. Now are you These still? These workshops taken moments before disaster. I don't. I, I don't want to. Let's land it right here on the carpet. Okay, so Tate, how was that experience flying the Mavic indoors? That was absolutely terrifying. Why was it terrifying? I had you standing right next to me and you play the mortgage on this house and if I crashed, your new drone into your kind of new house, that would not go over too well. That's true. So, but I trusted you. And what were the steps we took to make sure that we had a safe flight? So the steps we took to prepare our Mavic Air from going from outside flight to indoor flight were as follows. We put the prop guards on, which was a nice touch, just in case we had run into anything. These would keep the drone and the thing that we ran into semi-safe. Secondly, uh, we had it in tripod mode, which kept it stable and easy to maneuver. Third, we had vision, and that made it easier. Obstacle avoidance. Yeah, obstacle avoidance. For a while. Yeah. And, and we also turned, turned off what? Uh, we also turned off the... Um, return to home. The return to home. So it wouldn't fly up into the ceiling if we lost the signal for some reason. Yeah. So those are kind of the steps. We actually ended up turning off the um, turning off the uh, obstacle avoidance because it wouldn't go through the tight spots with it on. So if you are trying to film something indoors, you may have to turn off obstacle avoidance, but just be aware that you, you know with them off, you can run into stuff. So you need sure. to be really careful. Sure. Um, overall, it's a great little drone for indoor flight. There's a couple of things I learned just from that flight. Number one uh, is that it blows a lot of wind. And so as you're flying over tables or uh, we even had a picture fall off the wall because it blew so much air, the picture just kind of tipped over. It was sitting on a shelf. Um, so it landed on a basket of blankets. Luckily. But the point is that if you have uh, papers or light things around your house and you're gonna fly indoors, uh, probably secure those things first. And then the other thing I realized is it is loud, especially indoors with hardwood floors. Um, it echoes a lot and it, you have to almost shout over it. So it isn't something you're gonna fly indoors uh, without making a lot of noise. So something to keep in mind. But if you wanna fly safely indoors, we've given you the steps. Uh, Kate, Honestly, did it? Just, just don't fly in your house, okay? That was too stressful. Yeah, that's a good option too. If you like this video, please give us a like a thumbs up, and if you want more videos about drones, what should they do? Subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. Buy the merch. Buy the merch. Buy the Follow screen. on Instagram. Follow on Instagram. All the way. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.